This right here is a tactical sling. It's normally used to carry a rifle. But what you didn't know is that this is one of the best gimbal or camera straps you can get. It's heavy duty, it's quick release, it's black. It's one of the best things that I've ever used when shooting with a gimbal. And one of the biggest benefits is that when I have this on, I can hang the gimbal to the side and have my hands free. And you can put it on any gimbal, any camera system, as long as you have these hooks, you can hook it to anything. So if this is something that you are interested in, hang on for the ride and let me show you how you can get this and how you can add it to your camera system. And if you don't know anything about me, I have a long history of working with gimbals and my channel is packed with amazing gimbal videos and tutorials. Why is it that when we shoot with a gimbal for a long day or carrying heavy camera gear for a long time, our back starts to hurt? It's super exhausting and at some point it's not fun anymore. I've been working on this solution, trying to find the best way to kind of compensate that when we are using our gimbal. The story of this gimbal strap actually goes way back. When, we were, when I were in the military, we were using these tactical slings to carry our weapons. And I thought that maybe I can convert this to work with my gimbal and it works so well. So the way that it works, it has these two quick release uh, things that goes together and then you have this other quick release and these knots which you just put onto there and it locks in place. It's super heavy duty and I can easily adjust the length of the gimbal strap. And when I don't want to use it and I want my hands free, I can just take the gimbal to the side and work with my hands without having to worry about the gimbal. And if I want to shoot again, I can take the gimbal up and we are ready to shoot. Most of the time when I shoot, I take the sling off because then I can work more freely with it. Another good thing is that if I want to review footage, I just want to have a break and can just hang it and rest it while I'm waiting. So the thing that this does really good is that it carries your gimbal, but it also takes the pressure off your back and puts it to the upper body. Because this is one of the worst things when shooting with a gimbal is that when we shoot for a long time, you start feeling that pain in your back if you have a heavy setup. So once you attach this and just keep it close to your body, the pain or the stress of the fatigue when you're shooting with a gimbal will be taken off your back. So you will be able to shoot for a lot longer than you normally will. This was on the RC2 and you can also add it to your normal camera setup. But if we take a look at some of the other gimbals I have, this is the Weeble S. I have it on this side handle right here. And again, it works the same. I just put it into there and I can put it down to the side if I want to. You can see I can just leave it hanging like that. But then again, what if you don't have a side handle? Yes, then you just have to find some other kind of um, access point where you can mount these small knots here. So if I wasn't having a side handle, I would just add it to this one or somewhere else where you have a point of attachment on your gimbal. So when you buy this tactical strap, there are two things you have to be aware of. One of the things is that the one that I have here comes with a loose end. And what I mean about that is this strap here actually has to go back in under this one for it not to fall off. But all I did is that I sewed this together so that I'm sure that it will not go past this point right here. Just make sure of that so that you won't drop your camera. So the other thing you have to be aware of is that this quick release knot, the hole in it is not big enough because the screws are, are smaller for the rifle. So all you have to do is that you'll have to drill this hole a bit bigger. So I think it's a five millimeter and I drilled it up to a, a 6.5. You can actually see the difference in the screws here. The black one is the one that comes for the rifle and the other one here, it's a bit thicker, is for our cameras. So as I said, you can add this to any camera setup. You can see here on the Ronin 4D, I actually have it set up here on the top. And all I do is that we will put this quick release in there and I have it locked in. So the way that I use it on the Ronin 4D, I actually keep this on the strap because this is a heavy setup. So as soon as I want to review footage, I can just hang it down by here the side. I always have a hand on it because it's a heavy camera 
and I do not want to drop this one. So this just adds extra protection and it takes the weight off when I'm not uh, shooting with it. I can review footage and I can just take a rest. All the, all the weight now is on my upper body where I have a lot more strength. So once I get to shoot with this camera, I just shoot with it, hanging on it because it has four axes. So when I'm walking around, it's not a problem with something like this. No matter what camera you have, this tactical sling will work. How do you get it and where do you get it? All these parts come from Amazon, but you can get it in any tactical store that will have these tactical slings. So I'll put some links down in the description where you can find this on Amazon. But if you have a local store, just go there and grab one. And they come in multiple colors. You can get in all the military colors, sand, green. This one is black. And the reason why I have it is, is in black because if I shoot events or weddings or some other wear where I'm wearing black, this one just blends in 100%. Get a tactical sling for your camera and your gimbal and it will save your back for so many hours. Go watch my video from last week where I'm talking about the tilter ring, which is a big setup for the DJI RS2. Stay creative and stay safe. And if you can, go out and shoot some dope videos. See you next time. Bye.